people often come into my office and for a counseling session for mm, perhaps they're preparing to for a marriage or or um, whatever the uh, situation is and um, usually a couple of minutes in they'll say to me Rabbi I, I have a confession to make and my first impulse is to say wrong religion but you know I say um, what is it and they say I don't believe in God and I listen and they go well, well, aren't you upset? You're a rabbi. Aren't you upset? Aren't you going to... And I said, I usually say, tell me about the God you don't believe in. And often what I hear is, um, you know, a, a God concept that maybe was taught to them when they were a child. You know, the proverbial old man in the sky with a beard. And my response is usually, well, I don't believe in that God either. We all want to know, you know, to have this experience of God, or many of us do. We want certainty, and in our tradition we understand that's not something we get in this life. But we do know experiences of the sacred. We know the experience of finding God in holding a child, um, in looking into the eyes of a beloved, uh, in walking uh, out in nature. We, we stumble into these moments all the time in our lives, and there's a tendency to, to dismiss them, to write them off, but I believe that they are all God experiences. And I think that, you know, the challenge is when we know there's an a moment of import in our lives and we want to create a sacred experience and um, that is one of um, one of the great privileges of, of this work uh, as a rabbi is to, w to facilitate moments of meaning for people um, and it, it, I think the most important thing I've learned about ritual is that People often come to ritual expecting it not to matter, expecting it not to be meaningful. The rabbi, minister, priest is over there going on and on about whatever his or her agenda is, and people tend to stand away from ritual and not, um, and not engage deeply because it's not theirs. Um, but in this community, Rabbi Chaya, who is my partner in spiritual leadership, and I feel very deeply about inviting people in to co-create whatever ritual it is that they are uh, preparing for. Um, because the invitation is to own the moment, to inhabit it as fully as possible. And uh, when people do, they drink deeply from the well of meaning. And this, to me, is, is the source of, of all meaning, which is God.